Hello and welcome. This is Ghost Dimension Flying Solo. Coming up on Ghost Dimension. You know when you don't like something? I really didn't like that. Okay, I'm in mid aware now of the young boy. That was uh, two taps on the door. Shuffle like something was dragging. Yeah. Tonight we investigate a location very close to our hearts. The home we investigate tonight is the former home of myself and Bex. Previously on Ghost Dimension Flying Solo. That was weird. That's really, really weird. That's coming like from the, over this corner. If you're here, make a noise in five, four, three, two, one. Okay, okay. That wasn't what I was expecting to hear. I was expecting like a tap or a bang, but I'll have to recheck that. I'm sure I heard somebody say my name. Oh, Rem's doing something. You guys can see that there. Thank you. This is on demand. Is it... Whoa! Thank you. I'm... Do it again. Now we continue our investigation of Sandhole Cottage. Okay, I'm going to um, head up these stairs now. I um, believe Lee downstairs investigating. And we shall see what we pick up. I've got the ram up here. I've got a K2. I'm going to investigate the child's bedroom. And uh, in the corner here, as you can see, I've got the boo bear. And this will ask, um, like, it will say things and ask for stuff to interact with it and if, if it's got it's got a light we can see it's green it's got all sorts of stuff built into it and if it goes off or anything interesting happens with that I'll point it out I've also got this this is the thermal imaging camera I'm going to go around and, and see if I can and um, maybe see if that portal at the top of the stairs will uh, change colour this is the child's bedroom the boo bear said, did you make it warm in here? It is hot in here, but it is a really hot day. So if that actually says, um, did you make it cold in here? Then that'd be more impressive for me at this moment in time. But this moment in time we've got, like I said, oh, I've also got the uh, K2 at the top of the, I don't know if I pointed that out, I've got a K2 there, okay? Because we'll get an activity with that. So let's see if I can, first of all, let's investigate the uh, wall where Lee said the portal is and see if we can get anything on it. Yeah, uh, particularly at the top of the stairs, there's what I would class as a portal. A portal? Right, at the top of the stairs there, and that's where the gentleman comes in from. Which is there. Okay, let me check it with the thermal. Do you know your alphabet? Okay, can you make the uh, wall change colour? If you're here, can you uh, give us an imprint? I know it's 27.4 degrees at the minute on there. Can you can you make it hotter or colder? Or, or show yourself on the wall? Hi guys, I am now in the front room doing my long vigil. Got some equipment on the table. Okay, is anyone here with me? Can you make a noise? Can you touch one of the devices on the table? Oh. Something right near the fireplace there. Little tap. Can you touch one of the devices on the table for me, please? Can 
you tap on something, George, are you here? George, can you make a noise for me, please? Can you make a noise in this room? I'm here on my own. I've got the thermal imaging camera. Can you make a noise for me? Like, like the Boo Bear said, can you make a noise for us? Now that was a noise. But that noise actually came from downstairs. So I'll ask Lee in a bit and see if you got a noise. I've swapped rooms, I'm in the master room now. Can you give me an indication of your presence? That's me. Let me have a look at the thermal, let's see if we can get anything on the thermal. So we're putting this at the stairs. That is the stairs over there, you can see. So if anything comes up the stairs, can you come up the stairs and let us know you're here. Let me just check that black spot is definitely down the stairs. Yeah. Okay. Can you show yourself on this camera? If it does go off, I'll take a picture. Can you show yourself, please? Can you make a noise, a, t a bang, a tap? Push this. Push, push this light over. Can you do something? Give me an indication. I've come back into the room. Do you want me to go into the room? To the child's room? Is this the man? Oh, if you just came through the portal, are you the negative entity that scares people that live here? Do something for me, come on. Phew, it got warm in here. Okay, it did get warm, it's gone up by a degree, it's gone up to 28.4, I'll show you, oh it's gone down again. But it had gone up to 28. Point, oh, has it? Can you see that, 28.3? 28.3. Now it's getting late in the evening, so it should be cooling down, but it's warmed up. 28.9 that I saw. It's, it, it's getting, it's weirdly warm, obviously. I mean, I'll show you this, the radiator's not on. You know, the, the heat in here shouldn't be this hot now. It should be calming down. Do you know what time it is? Can you make a noise? Come on, tap on something. Do, do, do something audible. Come on. If I tap on this, Door, you tap back. Got some kit on the table here. If you can come and touch one of these devices. That was just me setting the devices, guys. Is there anyone here with me? You come and touch the devices on the table or make a noise. You make a noise upstairs for me. Oh, there's something there. I don't know if the camera picks that up then, but there was a noise from this corner. Just over here. You make a noise upstairs for me? You make a noise upstairs for me? You make a noise upstairs for me? Oh, 
There's something there. Or can we stand over here? If that was you, can you do that again, please? I don't know if the camera's picking that up, but I can hear like walking. Very faint footsteps. Do you come and talk to me? Can we use these devices on the table? Can you touch the green light for me? Go and make this device flash like this. See if you can do this for me. <clears throat> that was a big bang. Is there anyone here with me? Alright, copy my voice. <whistles> that was a whistle back, that was a whistle back. I heard that. Can you can you clearly make a noise so can we can so we can all hear you? the master bedroom. Can you push on one of those wardrobes make them open? Hello? The fuck was that? The fuck, fuck, fuck was that? Didn't like that. You know when you don't like something? I really didn't like that. Let me just put that in between my legs. What was that? You should have picked that up. Can you do that? My heckles on my neck are up. I don't know if it sounded like something jangling or it sounded like somebody laughing. But it didn't sound human. It sounded demonically weird. Maybe it was... Can you do that again? Can you make that weird noise that you just made? <clears throat> if that was you, I want to hear that properly again. Come on. Did you rattle that, did you? Did you rattle it? Like somebody tapped on that, maybe. I think, um, I think that that might have been somebody tapping on that. Was that you that was tapping on that? This boo bear is showing that it's getting warmer. So I'm just going to go in here and just check the temperature. Whoa, okay, yeah, that's warmer. Let me show you this. This is really, really bloody warm. Okay, look. It's now 30.3 degrees. Now, that's gone up by at least 2 degrees. And that is definitely weird. Oops, I've just clicked stuff out here. Let's just have another look. It's gone up again. Okay, well that is odd. It's the evening now. The temperature should be dropping, but not here at Sandhol. The temperature is rising and something is weird in the main bedroom. There's some weird
All right, okay. I hope we pick that up. What I heard was just like, boom, boom, boom. Like a deep man groaning. Let me check this portal. Oh, I keep taking a picture, okay. You make a noise? You touch the door? Tap on something? Ooh. There was something there, right where I was sat. That was strange. There was a tap as I was sat. I was just sat there. And there was a tap literally right next to me. That was really weird. If that was you, can you tap again? Feel free to touch me. Okay, I've been made aware now of the young boy. He's not actually come into the room yet, but he's aware of my voice, so hopefully he'll, uh, he'll come into the room. Just trying to get a name for him. Is there a child in the room with me? I'm aware of you in the house. Can you come downstairs and talk to me? heard that on camera, you should have done. There was a loud tap from the other side of this door. Can you do that again please? I just heard another light. It sounded like a very faint tap. Oh, and again. If that's you, come into the room. I don't know if you can see guys over there on the fireplace, that's actually picking up my voice. The light there, <coughs> just like that. Come and touch one of these devices on the table for me please. You make it flash. I can hear you knocking. So this portal is also at 30.9, uh, 31.2 now, 31.2 on the portal. That's really, really, really weird. So something is spiking it up. Maybe I'll ask Lee, maybe they're coming through the portal. Maybe there's a temperature difference because the spirits are coming through the portal. That boo bear is going to speak and speak until it gets an interaction. I think that boo bear is making it interact. Okay. Right, let's have a go. Let's see what we can do. Right. Go towards that REM pod on the floor there. If I can pick it up. Go towards that and make it go off. Light the lights. What's your 
don't know what's going on. But he keeps like... I don't know what's going on, but it keeps me moving. It's like it wants me to move, move, move. Let me just do a scan with this thermal. Okay, well the back wall's really weird. It is warm, it's 35. It does feel warm, but it wouldn't surprise me. With the heat hitting the wall from the outside, it will be naturally um, warm. Let me check the other walls. Yeah, so the other walls, yeah, the same. Okay. I really want a temperature difference on this portal. Okay, as you can see there, put the where Lisa the portal is, it's now 31.7. So we'd definitely get in a temperature difference. Whether in that that's paranormal, I don't know. I'll ask Lee. I'll ask Lee later um, when when we go down to do a visual if it is paranormal and Lee will know if that is. Okay, I'm gonna go back into where the boot bear is and see if I can get it to interact with me. Put this thermal down for one sec. Quite a lot of bangs happening around me now. Can you copy me? Hmm. Like a whistle. Is there anyone in the room with me? Can you make a noise please? Come forward, don't be afraid. I think that was my feet. Well, that wasn't. It was like something on the floor down here. You can see we've got the motion sensors set up as well. Right in the doorway there. Can you throw something? The last time I was here, you threw what looked like a piece of plastic. Can you do that again? Can you throw something? Oh, there's something there. Can you tap on this door? Can you knock back? So what we'll do, we'll sit in the corner quietly. See if we get anything over this side. And I'll show you the door there. Is anyone in the room with me? Can you make a noise please? Come forward, let yourself be known. We mean you no harm. George? Are you here? George, did you used to live here? Was this your house? If that's correct, can you touch one of the pieces of kit on the table for me? Touch one of the lights. 
or there's a ball on the mantelpiece, you can push the ball if you prefer. George, are you here? Okay, if you're in here and you can interact with me, come and speak to me again. Shut the, uh, there's a door behind me. Close this door. Push it, go on, give it a good push. Push the door. Make it close on me. You're doing all sorts of weird things like... Is it warmer in here? Yeah, it is getting warmer in here. The boobet suit is getting warm. But push the door. You're doing all sorts of weird things. You're making stuff, no you're making noises. You're making audible things happen. You're making the meters go off. But push the door. Do something big for me. I want to see it. I'll stand here. You push the door. Come on. Come on. Push it. If you're coming through the portal, I'm going to close this door. I want you to push it open. Push it open. Come on. Push that door wide open. If you push it, I'll hear the carpet go. You're not strong enough. You're not strong enough to push that door. Come on, the other door's closed. Come through the portal and push that door. Can you finish this? That's the boot bear tapping. I'm expecting two taps now. Whoa, that was uh, two taps on the door. That was two taps, and maybe that was a response to the boo bear, man. That was weird. That was really weird. It's not pushing it, but it was tapping. Is that the best you can do? Is that the best you can come up with? Tapping on doors. Push it. Seems to have quieted down a little bit now. How he does this, he kind of lures you into a false sense, it'll go really quiet and then next thing things can start to happen. It is actually coming darker now, so hopefully more things will start to happen for us. You do one last thing for me. You make a loud bang. So that's like footsteps again upstairs. George, is that you? You make a noise upstairs. There was a little click in the corner then, just over there. George? George, if you're here, can you touch this equipment on the table? Let me know that you're here. Make it flash for yes. Did you used to live here, George? Is the young boy here with us? Do you want to communicate with us? Seems to be 
Little taps every now and again coming from this side. But hopefully as the night goes on we will get some more stuff. So I'll be back to you soon guys. Okay I'm gonna go through to the master bedroom again and see if I can encourage it a bit more. Just redo my steps. There was a noise then. Was there a noise? Was it me? Possibly. I definitely heard something happen. Okay, so the portal's now at 32.7. This is really bizarre, and what the hell did that just say? I like holding hands with you, which means that something's touching the boo bear. Can we see anything on here? There's no indication of a heat source on the bear, but it's reacting to say something touched it. So that's weird. Boo Bear tapping um, out and then bang. Something touched it after the door was tapped. Are you still here? Give me an audible. Give me a knock. Copy my voice. I'm going to go down and Okay, I heard that, right in the corner. Right in the corner. Over there. It went bang. Little bang, but it banged. Let's see if I can see anything. Oh, okay. That was another. These are very subtle, but these are bangs. These are noises that are happening. Okay. That's strange. I might go and get Lee. I'm gonna go and see what I can do. I'm gonna be a sec. I'm gonna go meet Lee, see what he's, he's picked up on. I'm gonna see, um, maybe we can summon someone out here. Okay. After our solo investigations had provided fantastic evidence, I decided we should try something together to see if we could contact the spirits using my techniques and Lee's mediumship. So I was upstairs Lee, and um, there was some noises I was hearing, some bangs and some taps. And it was like tap, tap, tap. Yeah. It was on like the light that's up there. It was like tapping away. Did you hear anything down here? Uh, when I was down here before... Oh God, just stop. Did you hear that? I heard a loud bang then, yeah. Like a ding, like a ding, door yeah. closed. Like a thud. Yeah. When I was actually down here before, um, I was getting noise upstairs. So what? it's like somebody's playing with me. This is more likely to be the child. Okay. Because what was happening is, as I was calling out down here, it was like running across the, the bedroom floor. So that was quite quite creepy. And then at one point I had a knock right next to me as yeah. I was sat down there as well. I'll tell you what also happened upstairs in a second. Were you picking up anything psychically? Upstairs, um, as I was up there the first time, I was aware of George, the male. He wouldn't come into the room, but he was stood back watching me. He was on the landing. Okay. Upstairs, you know where the, uh, you said describe where this portal was upstairs? Yeah. I had the thermal imaging camera, and I was pointing it at the wall, and it read, read about 27.4 or 27.7, I think. It went up all the way to 32.9 degrees. Right, that's quite a significant increase then. Yeah. yeah, so that could be, maybe I thought maybe that was some sort of spirit coming through the portal. Possibly, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, um, well I think if you're up for it, let's, let's do a seance. Where, where, where should we do the seance? Um, we could do it in this room. In should, here? Yeah, it should be quite yeah. good. We'll call out and see if we can get it to interact with us. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's kill. up, let's do it. Yeah? Yeah. Cool. Leave so upstairs it was full of activity. Downstairs, myself and you, we've investigated, we've experienced many different things. 
um, the portal says, um, the, the spirits have been coming through all night. Yeah. So I think um, it's probably about time we we did like this, a seance to see if we can get them in. Should we do like a table tipping seance? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to go start with it? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Does anyone here with us? Can you move this table for me, please? Move the table gently. There was a bang there upstairs. Yeah, Faint the noise bang. from the bedroom. This is yeah. what tends to happen when we come downstairs. Both. You get things upstairs, you go upstairs, you get things downstairs. downstairs. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Was that you? Can you do that again? We've got a device on the table with some lights on it, and if you come towards me and Lee, it will set the lights off. Can you feel the vibration of the table there? Yeah. There's like a slight vibration of the table. Slightly shaking. Yeah. Yeah. George, cool. is that you? What was that? that? That was another noise upstairs. Yeah. Like shuffling around. Shuffling? Like somebody was dragging? Yeah. Like a bed? It was like right above us as well. Yeah. Literally right above your head. Was that you? Come downstairs and join us down here. Walking. I was like footsteps. Yeah. Myself and Lee, we're here to, Lee can sense you, he can see you, so if you come and join us, Lee will be able to sense you and pick you up. It was a voice. I heard what sounded like a voice. It was like a, like a murmur on. Yeah. Did you hear what it? Was we like... that up on the audio? We should have done. Yeah, we yeah. caught like an EVP there. What did you say? Can you say it again to us so we can hear you again? Again, it's another noise Those, upstairs. Yeah. We've been investigating all night, and these noises, you go to one room, they go to the other room. Yeah. And sometimes they, they come into the room that we're in. George, are you here? Yeah. There was another rumble then. It yeah, was... yeah, 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 I heard that. Are you here with us, George? Was there any young boys or girls here? Children? Are you sensing, George? He's not in the room at the minute, he's stood away again. Yeah. He's aware of us, but he stood back. Earlier on, he was stood at the bottom of the staircase. Yeah. It's like he's sort of floating between upstairs and the bottom of the staircase. He's kind of observing us. So he's, he's waiting. He's around. Okay, yeah, on. he's around. Okay. He's just getting him into the, into the room. Into the room. Into the room. Into the room. Yeah, it's a room. You said a room. Yeah, yeah. George. Oh. Okay. Okay, let's tap. Oh, there's a whistle. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Did you hear the whistle? It's like a yeah. Woo. Yeah. I'm going to tap on this table. Now, if I hear right, there's something faint there. Very yeah. faint. Not too sure. And uh, Jason, the cameraman, that's indicating it's behind you. Yeah. the kitchen area. Yeah. 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 Was it faint? Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> what the hell was that? <laughs> a little click in the eye of the click. Yeah. So this was from the kitchen area. Yeah, from the kitchen. 
It's like that's where he was before, because he was at the bottom of the stairs, so he's not willing to come any further than the kitchen. He's sort of observing it, but he's in this area. And every time we go, the reason we're not going into the kitchen is that every time we move into his area, he will move somewhere else. Else. He's moved somewhere, so we yeah. try to encourage him to come towards us, because we really want to communicate with him. And maybe we could do Get to do something here. Well, that's me. That's me. Oh, it was me. Was really loud. Go and run into this room. Oh, K2. Yeah. That was weird. That went off. It's still going off now. So K2 is going off. It's eerily quiet. Mm. And now I thought, I thought we knew anything. You, you see something and you call him. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I thought I saw something on the corner of my eye. And the K2 is starting to go off, as you can see. Can you come t towards this device in my hand? Come towards me and Lee. Let's see you light this up. Is this George, you think? Or do you think yeah, this is definitely. Like this is George. He's coming into the room now. He's it's between again, but he's getting a little bit more daring now. So he's now... Yeah. Okay. I think he's gathering energy as well. Yeah. Is he... Is he... Um, is he aware that we're here investigating? Definitely. He's very intelligent. He's aware of his surroundings. Yeah. Okay. We only want to communicate with you, George, so come closer, right up to us, let us feel you. Let us feel your auric atmosphere. Did you hear it? I heard something. It sounded like above again, but it was very faint. Like a, like yeah. A, yeah. Now upstairs is carpeted where we investigated. So we shouldn't have heard anything. Like a tap. Okay. George, is that you? Are you making these noises? I keep hearing like thuds from yeah. upstairs. It's gentle thuds. Mm. Like somebody walking across the, the floor upstairs. Every now and again, it's just like a little boop, boop. Should we try and get into, into our wrist? This table spins, so we might be able to. See? Yeah. Can I come and move this table? Use myself and Lee's energy, I push it, move it around. I don't know if it's me or you, or, or, or if it's us, or, but it feels like it's moving a bit. It is. Can you see anything on my camera, Jay? Yeah. Did you hear the whistle there? There was yeah. another whistle again. Is there a whistle? Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Definitely. Definitely moving now. Oh, that is, yeah, 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 yeah. That is. George, can you make the table move faster? Twisting underneath. Yeah, it doesn't feel natural either. It feels a bit weird. Okay. It's like it wants us to change position. I've come to this yeah. side now. This front stretch. George, if that's you, can you make the table stop? Thank you. Can you do something for us where we can hear your voice? We'd like to communicate with you. Can you use your voice? What was that? That was like somebody clearing the throat. Yeah. 
That was a clear. It was like. Uh, did you hear that? Yeah, there? yeah, yeah. yeah. Can you do it? And then I whistled straight. Oh, yes, I heard that whistle. Yeah. Hello? Yeah, quite faint. Yeah. Can you What? Again? We asked for the audio for voice. Yeah. And it's given it. No, Whoa, that was. Big click. Kitchen. Was it in the kitchen? Yeah. Or was it behind here? No, it was definitely behind here. Yeah, I heard it in the kitchen. It was the yeah. kitchen. Can you do that again? I felt the table move then. Like a ever so slight shudder. Is there anybody upstairs? Nope. No, I went downstairs. That was like somebody shifted upstairs. Possibly it looked like it was a banister on that one. Did you think it was a banister, yeah? Yeah, yeah it creeped for us early, didn't it? Yeah, we've heard the banister a couple of times tonight now, haven't we? So something moved the banister. Or creeped on the banister. What's your thing here? George, was that you? Can you do that again, please? George, if you're here, and that was you, can you do that again, please? You make that noise upstairs? It was one big thing, come on. One more big thing. Right, okay, I heard that. Yeah. yeah. That was very that was a very thought. prominent one, in the end. yeah. Okay, so it's been a fantastic investigation so far tonight. I can't believe the difference in activity levels, the audible uh, phenomena when we've asked for it, the knocks, um suppose, you know. Some of the stuff we've had is not, not normally as in depth and in detail and as fast as you would expect it to be during a paranormal investigation. What for sure, unfortunately. It's been really, as the night's gone on, it's just picked up and picked up. We've got more and more specifically on the stairs. Yeah. The footsteps upstairs have been so clear. Yeah. And it's been really, really interesting. Especially with nobody being in it. Definitely, um, yeah. You're getting the bangs and then you're getting like the people walking, like there's physical people in here. Yeah, it's not concentrated in the room that we're in as soon as, like we said before, we move to one room, yeah. it happens in another room, so we're down here for instance, we get a lot upstairs, we're upstairs, you get a lot down here, it's, it's crazy. And because these people have got a portal here, mm -hmm. they can just escape through the portal. Come and go as they please, yeah. Come and go. Overall, what a fantastic night. Yeah, excellent.